wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. I was forced to learn all of the rules by heart. But even I don't take... <laughs>
And once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the kingdom of darkness. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the Pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the queen of the kingdom of darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey. Of your tale to be told. Blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can... ...appreciate its true qualities.
Personally, I think the idea of things staying the same forever is quite beautiful. Oh, but alas, that is simply not the way the world works. Paimon and the Traveler. I've been waiting for you. Whoa. Looks like Jean wasn't the only one waiting for us. Kree and Kaya are here too. Oh, it's Paimon and Miss Honorary Knight. It's been so long. Ah, look who it is. You've caught me completely off guard this time. But then again, it's always a pleasant surprise when you two show up. <laughs> Guess we were so excited to see Jean again that we forgot to knock. I hope we didn't startle anyone. Uh, wait a sec. You weren't talking about anything that we're not supposed to hear, were you? Showing your guide the way? Yeah, right. It's been a while since we last met, but I can see you two haven't changed one bit. Don't worry, we weren't discussing anything confidential. In fact, we were just talking about you. Maybe we should let the star of the story explain it in their own words. Yeah! Let me tell it! Let me tell it! A few days ago, I was reading Todoko Tales in the solitary confinement room when all of a sudden, whoosh, a letter came flying in through the window. 
flying through the window? How does the letter fly? Like a bird does. It was flapping its wings. It could even talk. It said... Um, well, it was a bunch of stuff I didn't understand. You couldn't understand? Then it must have been talking about how to avoid solitary confinement. Ahem. <clears throat> Kaya? Just saying. We don't want to let a teachable moment slip by. <sighs> okay, I know. Anyway, the letter said, Oh, Klee, are you behaving? I see you wound up in the solitary confinement room again. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Mommy is busy these days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. I have a friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Oh, so the letter's from Alex. In principle, yes. <sighs> but the issue is that Alice's friend lives quite far from here. The letter says that Mom's friend lives in Sumeru. The Knights of Favonius could never agree to send Klee off to Sumeru on her own. But Klee is rather intent on taking Alice's friend up on this invitation. Yeah, I really want to go. Oh, you see? So we were wondering, who can we send with her on the journey? Preferably someone who's a reliable hero and with a history of saving Mondstadt. Oh, so that's why you wanted to see us. I do apologize, but Klee gets along with you so well. We couldn't think of a more suitable choice. <sighs> sure, we can do that, no problem, right? <laughs> can you really miss honorary nights? Yay! With miss honorary night around, Klee's not afraid of anything! See, I told you that she'd agree. In that case, we'll leave Klee in the trusty hands of the Traveler. And you too, Kaya. You should join them. I noticed you quietly completed that backlog of paperwork we had. You deserve the chance to unwind a little. Oh, so you noticed. Well then, I suppose I have no reason to refuse. Great! Things will go even more smoothly with Kaya around. Still... Sumeru is pretty far. It's gonna be a long journey. Don't worry. Mom's letter had a magic invite inside. Mom says we just have to all shout out where we want to go at the same time. And poof! We'll be there in the blink of an eye. Wow. Well, that'll definitely make things easier. It only works three times, though, so we should only use it when we really need to. Three's plenty. One for the way there, one for the way back, and one extra, just for good measure. Sounds very mysterious. I still think we should use it sparingly. After all, we don't know the exact location of where we'll be headed, or what dangers we may encounter on the way. Here's what I suggest. Traveler, you're well-connected. I'm sure you must have friends who are familiar with Sumeru. I say we start by teleporting to one of them. It'll give us a chance to test out the magic invite, and also find ourselves a local guide. Hmm, that kinda makes sense. And since it has three uses, there's no point letting one of them go to waste. Couldn't have put it better myself, Paimon. So... Do you have a particular contact in mind? <laughs> well, we need someone who's familiar with Sumeru and can be our guide. So, sounds like we need a forest ranger. And everyone knows that the best place to go looking for a forest ranger is a little place called... That's the one. Maybe we can get Tainari to help us. Alright. Gandarvaville it is. Especially with Kaya and Miss Honorary Knight. 
We should be on our way then. If you'll excuse us, Acting Grandmaster. Yes, let the wind lead. I wish you a safe journey. And Klee... I know, I know. I'll be careful, I promise. Klee! Okay, you guess nothing. Take us to... Gondarvaville! Gondarvaville. Someplace super weird. <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. It's okay, Klee. Good news is this magic invite really does work. Fascinating. One moment we're in Mondstadt, the next we're in Sumeru. So this is where Mom's friend lives? Wow, there are so many big flowers. Oh, and jumpy mushrooms. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Sumeru's full of strange stuff like this. Like, um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon was pretty creeped out the first time we saw one of those. Listen carefully, Klee. Those jumping mushrooms are called fungi. They may look cute, but if you get too close to one, it'll try to hit you with its cap. And then I'll hit it with the hood on my jacket, too. <laughs> I'll definitely win if it's two hats against one. As long as playing with hats doesn't escalate to playing with bombs. But please our friend, so we should be able to convince her to keep this trip explosion free. Right? Uh-huh. I'll be extra careful not to blow anything up. Um... I mean, I'll try my best. Ah, uh, that's very good of you, Klee. You're being very grown up today. Yep, I'm super grown up. I'm already the Spark Knight. Okay, Spark Knight. Well, keep up the good work, because very soon we'll be introducing you to a friend of ours called Tainari in Gondarvaville. Gondarvaville. Hmm. I've definitely heard the other forest rangers mention somebody dressed like that before. I see. Then it looks like my suspicions are correct. Hmm? Who do we have here? Traveler and Paimon! Huh? Oh! Kaya and Klee are here too! Colin, it's been ages! Colin, yeah! What are you two doing here? Well, that question's really more for you, uh. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into a fellow Favonian captain this far from Mondstadt. How's the vacation going? Seriously? Bring the whole crew, why don't you? Is it just Paimon, or does Yua not look particularly thrilled right now? 
Oh, cool! Great idea! Let's go! <sighs> if you're trying to accommodate me, there must be some misunderstanding. I'm fine. There's nothing embarrassing about running into colleagues in the wild. Uh, but earlier you were... Great! Well, I'm sure there's a fascinating reason behind why you're all the way out here in Sumeru. Do share it with us. If you must know, it's a little complicated. But simply put, I'm searching for a cousin of mine from the Lawrence clan. He went missing recently, and after searching his home, we found evidence that led us here. He appears to believe that somewhere in Sumeru lies the key to restoring our clan to its former glory. He came all the way to Sumeru for that? What was he going to do, enroll at the Academia? I doubt he came here to learn. He's much too old to start getting a basic education now. And from what I know of him, I doubt he has any interest in intellectual pursuits. All he cares about is restoring his clan's honor. Nothing wrong with that idea in principle, but I'm not certain how fanatical he is about it. So, there's no knowing what lengths he might go to. As a knight and a member of the Lawrence clan, it's my duty to make sure he doesn't bring harm to others. Oh, -ho. if this is true, then your cousin is quite a man of action. Traveling alone to Sumeru from Mondstadt is no mean feat. Nor is daring to make me personally concerned about his safety. <laughs> He has no idea what's coming to him. You know, underneath it all, Paimon thinks Eula's a really caring person. Yeah, she's the best! She brought me some moon pie last time. <clears throat> he is family, after all. Anyway, I will make sure to find him and escort him safely back to Mondstadt. <clears throat> now, back to you. How and why did you all suddenly show up here? Hmm... I'm afraid that could be tricky. Master Tainari's still at part of the eye delivering his lectures. Uh, he isn't due back for a while. But I think I'll be able to help out. The description in the invitation letter is vague, but I'm pretty sure it's hinting at somewhere in the desert. The desert? Hmm? Does that mean Mom's friend is from the desert? Hmm... I guess I'll call her Auntie Desert for now. I remember Mahamadra Sino once told me a strange rumor about that part of the desert. They say there's a secret domain there that can make all of your wishes come true. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Said I should just call him Sino. Mm, I keep forgetting that. Huh. A domain that makes people's wishes come true. Wow. So is it true? Does it really exist? I probably would have believed it a few years ago. But now that I'm a little older and wiser, I think it makes sense to be more skeptical about things like this. This explains a lot. The domain could well be a myth, but he probably figured he had nothing to lose. If you intend to search for this place, then please allow me to join you. My cousin has quite a collection of books about Sumeru desert mythology on his shelves. I highly suspect that he, too, is looking for that domain. Can I come, too? I think you might need me there. You'll definitely need a local guide while you're in Sumeru. And I, uh, I think I have what it takes to be that person. Plus, it's a forest ranger's duty to bravely lend a helping hand to others in need. We have every confidence in your abilities, Kale. Our party grows bigger and stronger still. What say you to this, Captain Klee? I think it's super cool! I read in a storybook that on your own you can only have a drop of happiness, but in a group you have a whole ocean. So I'm sure Mom's friend will be super happy if I show up to visit and bring a whole bunch of friends with me. That's the spirit. In that case, let's get the magic invite to take us there. What an 
incredible sight. Yes. The scenery is quite magnificent. <sighs> Are you okay, Yula? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Just taking a moment to acclimatize. <clears throat> the air here is much drier than Mondstadt. Hmm. This area doesn't look very habitable, and I don't see a domain entrance nearby either. Oh no. Uh, I, I didn't pronounce the destination wrong, did I? I mean, I don't think I did. Nope, you got it right. It definitely wasn't your fault. I said Gundarvaville wrong earlier, but we still ended up in the right place. Klee's right. We're in the right place. There's no doubt about that. Phew. Hmm. Maybe the entrance is hidden under a sand dune. Who knows? We'll just have to start by looking around. should have found something by now. Unless there's a problem with the magic invite. Huh? How could that happen? Uh-oh. Did I break it by accident? But I didn't do anything. Doroko will back me up. I'm innocent. Uh, it's definitely not your fault, Klee. See? Not even a wrinkle on it. Does Miss Honorary Knight have an idea? Ah, Paimon knows where you're going with this! Interesting approach. Assuming we're right about this magic invite. That is to say, if it was sent from within the domain, the invite likely has some sort of connection to it. Oh, I get it now. Plus, I know a super special trick we can use. Hmm, what kind of trick? Can you teach it to us, too? Of course! Mom said that if I ever need help, I just need to shout this out loud. Magic invite, magic invite, Klee needs your aid. Do something now, so Klee's not afraid. Look, something flew over! It looks like... a bottle. Remarkably effective. That's one trick I'll be keeping up my sleeve in the future. You should make a note of it too, Eula. Absolutely not. It's not my style. I suppose bottles are pretty common in Sumerian mythology. So, uh, is this supposed to be the entrance to the domain? A domain? In a bottle? One thing we learned in Liyue, it's never judge a domain by its cover. Guess there's one way to find out if this really is the way in. Come on, reach out with your hand. We made it! Ah, <sighs> that answers that question. There's a path! I'm gonna take a look! Hey, don't run off and leave us all behind! Incredible. It looked so small from the outside. Everyone, I suggest that we stop here for a moment. We should take stock of our surroundings before deciding on our next course of action. Since we're in a bottle, has anyone heard the story of the magic bottle? Oh, you mean the one about King Destret and the genie in a bottle? I've read it before, but I struggled with some of the vocabulary. <laughs> What's the story about, Kaya? 
Mom told me a story once about a group of adventurers who went to Bottle Land. But I don't think there was a magic bottle in that one. Don't worry, Klee. I can tell you all about the story of the magic bottle. But if you keep running off on your own, you'll miss all the good parts. Oh. Okay, I got it. I'll stay with the group from now on. Hmm. You sense it too, don't you, Kale? Something's not quite right. Yeah. The scenery here is beautiful, but <laughs> it's too quiet. And there's no sign of Klee's Auntie Desert here anywhere. Maybe Auntie Desert lives way further down inside. <laughs> this place is super big, just like Fischl's Immer Nachreich. Oh, we still have a long way to go. Guess we won't know until we get there. Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll meet her soon. Leave it to me! Behold! The Princess Endeavor... Here. It looks like no one set foot on this road for quite some time. I agree. And the further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey, there's something strange up ahead. Let's check it out! Yeah. Uh, come on out. I shall treasure this good fortune. Thank you. 
what trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain. Well, what do we have here? I wonder what it feels like. Can I touch it? It's so big that we could probably pass straight through it. Ah, that's so scary! Stop giving Paimon the heebie-jeebies! Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then... I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! Okay, okay! Paimon won't touch it! Jeez. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Wait! Who goes there? It doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? Really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up my hole? I don't think it's hungry. Are you water droplet? Oh, dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. Wait! Don't go! Wait for us! Why'd it stop? Maybe you can understand us after all. Oh, I get it now. It's leading the way for us. Just like the cats in Mondstadt. Like the cats? How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, You'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting.
my tree. Huh? Another strange contraption. And there's a weird looking wall over there. This kind of looks like that ball of water we saw earlier. Did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something? What? Your friend is trapped in the wall? Don't be sad, water droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. You bet. But how are we gonna save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Nope, we can't do that. No breaking the wall. Hmm. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Oh no! Where'd it go? Look, the device has lit up. And it's projecting images onto the wall. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Yep, what Kaya said, and that's where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? Maybe... We just copy what the water droplet did? Hmm... But what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. in there, but as soon as it came out, it turned all plump and round! <laughs> Guess it makes sense that the water droplet's friend is also a water droplet. Aww, and they both do the same thing to show they're happy. Uh, water droplet number two ran off! It's saying thank you, Miss Honorary Knight. That was a huge help. Traveler, how do you feel after entering that two-dimensional space? Any... physical side effects? You sure seem fine to Paimon! Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Good thing you was here to look out for everyone! Can't say the same for you though, Kaya! You were pretty quick to send the Traveler inside! Hey, now. I only suggested that because I was confident that the Traveler would be fine. Water Droplet, is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep. You know, anyone who looks like me or my friends. Oh! It ran off again! Hopefully this is a good sign. Amazing. Come on, let's follow it.
for the wicked. rare and exquisite treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated. I shall treasure this good fortune. Don't tell me that's everything. Ready for anything. One seems to be writing about these days.
your title behind. Huh. Maybe more people live in this domain than we thought. And maybe that's where Auntie Desert lives. Dear, the situation is now critical. A window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. But, but even so... This is your home. Are you really going to let everything fall to pieces? I... well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? Paimon knows that voice. Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... Act now while you still can. You have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. The most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. But the question remains of where to begin. <laughs> Paimon figured out who it is! Is it Miss Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> is she a kind of mage? What are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Greetings, everyone. This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. 
I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. <laughs> um, I hope. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. It's all right. Just leave the introductions to me. Uh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the domain, just like yourselves. She is a formidable military general. Have any of you heard of Inazuma's Onmyo chamber? The... uh... what chamber? Onmyo Chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Uh... wait... This lady famously led the class D underdogs to victory against the class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the academy have ever achieved. Hence, Formidable General is no exaggeration. Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> huh? Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the classy underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. Doesn't sound like the divine priestess Miss Honorary Knight was talking about. Uh oh, did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or maybe she uses a different identity in her private life, and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. It seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce you is a good way to make an impression. Hmm. Maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a title, too. <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh, no. Uh, sorry, my mistake, general. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. Whatever you like, Idea. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Cleekin explained. So basically, in the story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Bottle Land. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh, what's that one called again? Perhaps a sage? Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Okay, well, I'll just call you that. <laughs> Miss General it is. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute. Coming from you, at least cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? <laughs> how could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Wait! Klee wants a title, too! Mm, okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! Da da da! Whoosh! Kaya can be the faster thief. Miss Honorary Knight can be... Uh... The Knight! And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the Knight everywhere! Master thief, huh? I did like playing pirates as a child, so I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. 
Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now filled? You can be the sword master who can cut through anything and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And Kale can be... Um... The healer. Uh... Uh, no, no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> don't worry, Kale. You'll be the bestest healer ever! You don't talk much, but you're very kind, just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari, but hopefully it's the first of many. This is a great idea. Once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, then add in some role-playing. Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Adia. Hmm. There are lots of characters in Mom's stories, but you don't remind me of any of them. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Klee, maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss Adia. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to her. <laughs> the mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Adia. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, oh, alright. I'll be the mascot then. That's right! Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya! Huh? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We keep getting sidetracked, but I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is something wrong with the Valuria Mirage? Oh, yes. About that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if... The whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. A few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Needless to say, many things in the Valurian Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit too, when she gets here and sees the state this place is in... <sighs> oh, so you're Mom's friend? Hi, Auntie Desert! I'm Klee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, so you're... you're? Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Yeah, and <laughs> not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you! Right, Auntie Desert? Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. Uh, you're... you're Alice's daughter? Oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now! Wait, that's it! I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain! <laughs> hide there until this all blows over! See you all in a hundred years! Adia's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, hanging its head in shame. Kale? That's a harsh analogy. Where'd all that come from? Don't worry, Aunt 
Mighty Desert, Klee's here to help you. And all my friends will help too. Just take a deep breath. And then another deep breath. And all your worries will fly away. Yeah, don't you worry. Lady Fixalot over here has a good track record with this kind of thing. Well, I'm useless. But it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, for the time being, please talk amongst yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through and maybe make a start on, um, delegating. are going a little too smoothly today. says that you're from Watatsumi Island. What's it like there? There must be loads of fish, right? Wait! You look kinda like a mermaid. Are there fish in your family? Oh, uh, sorry to disappoint you, Miss Mage, but I'm just an ordinary human. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on! Let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. Feeling nervous, Kale? Well, it's your first time as a guide, after all. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So, I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Chainari. Well, the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, okay. In that case, uh... <clears throat> put that mushroom down. <sighs> now, it's highly poisonous. There you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. Anyway, what about your role? Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. <laughs> Maybe not. Until you factor in that I only steal from the enemy. 
I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Don't you? Oh! Uh, fair point, fair point. I hope the others find some. <gasps> right now, right here. <laughs> Don't tell me that's everything. Do this! Let the show begin. My illustrious name.
else has visited the Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the Academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. He was a huge help, and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was extremely diligent in his work. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot like me. Uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> I'm, of course, a very strong and resilient person. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Then the gen... I mean, Miss Sangonomia. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good host and show them around. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? If I remember correctly, he headed north after the incident. It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh, if we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. Hmm. Hey, Ithia! You got an update for us? We've all caught up with each other. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened here. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw earlier. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came loose and went flying. Four components, I believe, which has caused the Central Hub to stop turning. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Oh, I've done such a terrible job of taking care of it, it's so embarrassing. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. So, we need to fix the big wheel up there. And to do that, we need to find the missing parts. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away. But the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay? Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so I'll try my best to fill her shoes. Oh? Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Earmark? What does that mean? It just means we mustn't forget to do it. Don't worry. We can handle that. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomia, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. Alright, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other, especially our little mage here. You got it! I'll take extra special care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. Uh... <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. So, how come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Hmm, Paimon kinda gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part.
sit down in Watatsumi Island for now. So I thought I'd take the chance to get out and see more of the world. You traveled a pretty long way. Why Sibiru? I figured that I needed to venture farther than usual to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. Today is a lucky day. Okay, this is the spot. Now, I'm sure you're both wondering, <gasps> but where's the component? One. There goes my big introduction. Showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job. Oh, I can't believe I'm being shown up by a Hydro Eidolon. Cheer up, Idea. The Hydro Eidolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. That's where you come in. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. Hmm. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Oh, well, if you put it that way... <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before, and I'll tell you all about it. This is called the Streaming Projector. Everything here in the Valurium Mirage was made using this device. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. At least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Okay, not quite that basic. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. <laughs> Think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something. So you're saying the component fell into the preprints? Yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Well, I... Um, I'll be out here, uh, rooting for you by, uh, by doing a motivational dance! Really? No, sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and wait patiently for you. Hey, come on! Cheer up! We'll handle everything from here! <laughs> Look like the component is in here. Yes, that's the one. Now you just need to bring it back out. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of gear? belongs 
than that huge wheel? It's hard to explain, but I assure you that it's definitely one of the components. So that leaves three more components missing. Every journey begins with a first step. I think we're off to a good start, and things should keep going smoothly from here. You... you really think so? I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the Onmyo Chamber, after all. Um, you, uh... You don't need to keep bringing that up. Anyway, thank you for all your help. I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. You two may as well head back to town. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. What's wrong, Kokomi? Uh, I'm just a little confused. You mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. Oh, sure! I see. Didn't last long. 
it also wasn't spinning at the right speed. Before the incident, it spun much faster than that. Oh, so you saw it back when it was still working? Yes. I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you. But the incident took place not long after I entered. Like Idea said, it felt like the world was... flipped upside down. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to disappointment, Idea. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Hey! Miss Honorary Knight and Miss General are here. Oh! And our mascot! You beat us! I was sure we were gonna be the first ones back! Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber even among the Knights of Favonius. How about our master thief and mage? Did you find anything? You bet! We made a huge discovery! The place we were trying to get to was blocked off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. Huh? It appeared just now? Hmm... Come and see, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after trying to make those repairs. I need to take a break. Miss General, you should come too. You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while I protect you. Wonderful. It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. <laughs> Let's go! What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? Yeah. <laughs> 
she'll treasure this good fortune. Take flight! Destiny has brought me hither. Today is a lucky day.
Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound, like something mechanical turning. Kerchuk, kerchuk, kerchuk. Could it have been the central hub? Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh... Oh. New guys, huh? Oh, hey! Simon didn't realize anyone else besides Zia lived here. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, excuse me for asking, but... Who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down, or whatever. The method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Isia is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Conked out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Nuh-uh! I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? <laughs> Allow me to explain. Okay, I gotcha. Well, right now, the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the cards here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a card for us. Mm, like what? Can it be anything as long as it looks like a card? Yeah, you can put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So, something like... a sedan chair, maybe? Mm, but I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? Hmm. That would solve the issue of materials. Wood's no good. A rickety wooden cart would be too dangerous. Really? Hey, everyone. Come and see what Klee made. Whoa, it fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. <laughs> I just wanted to give it a try, and suddenly, boom, there it was. Simon's gonna ask, what exactly did you make your cart from, Klee? I used Jumpy Dumpty. Hmm, is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's just... this card is made from... um... It's a bomb or something, isn't it? Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh, so to be more specific, well, different materials have different properties. Most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay. No need to delve into the theoretical stuff. Paima just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of Starfell Lake. Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment. We need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in.
The track is damaged up ahead. We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. But the hydroidolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the hydroidolon, right? But the projector here is sealed up by a giant bubble! That's the hydroidolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Volunteers for step two? Leave that to us! We know what to do! So the Hydroidolin was locked up in that chest. Keep going then. No, no. The Hydroidolans are like helpers here. And as for my brothers, well... <sighs> those two. You'll meet them soon enough. Well, what do we have here?
always watching. Well, what do we have here? Well, what do we have here? We've just about finished repairing the station and the connecting tracks. Let's go check the track switcher now. It's over there. Right.
Today is a lucky day. It's so big! But, uh, not as big as the one we saw in the middle of this place. That one was huge. I bet it's something super important. I remember what Kaya said earlier. Very good, Klee. You're using what you saw earlier to make observations, like a real adventurer. Hmm. It appears to be a system that rotates to switch tracks. That's right. Originally, all you had to do was flip this switch, and the junction would rotate. Hmm, but it seems Jeremy still hasn't fixed it yet. He sure talks big, but when it comes to actually getting things done... Is this Jeremy you mentioned one of your brothers? Yeah. When I talked to him about repairing the tracks, I suggested we start with the station. But he said we should start at the junction. Really, it made no difference which one we started with. But he just had to turn it into a huge argument. He always treats me like I'm a fool and disagrees with anything I say. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say now that I've already fixed the tracks. Well, if you ask me, you're clearly a sharp person, Ferdinand. Yes. Finally, someone who can recognize that, rather than just shrugging off my ideas. Come on, let's make our way to the junction and see what he's up to. I bet he's still fretting over what to do. Sometimes I can't help but get angry just thinking of Jeremy. You should have seen him back in the sandstorm. I suggested we go east, and he argued that we should go west. You were in a sandstorm? What happened after that? We separated and each went our own way. Lucky for us, we stumbled across this domain. Otherwise, I'm sure we would have been buried in the sand. Everything will get better once we get the switcher working again. Hmm. Still stuck here just as I expected. Well, did you make any progress? Didn't I already tell you? Just have the Hydroidolans fix the junction and then make a new cart. After that, we can use the junction to... Wait a minute, how did you get here? It took a lot of effort for me to climb all the way up here. The answer is standing right in front of you. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Those travelers must have helped you. You never get anything done on your own. You always get someone else's help and then try to take the credit for yourself. You're one to talk. What have you managed to accomplish, huh? You were here just moping around all day. Oh, they started arguing the moment they saw each other. But aren't they supposed to be brothers? <laughs> Me? His brother? Hardly. <sighs> All right, Jeremy. That's enough. <sighs> Fine. I'd rather be focusing my efforts on fixing the track switch rather than arguing anyway. You should calm down too, Ferdinand. Let's all focus on the situation at hand. Any personal problems can be settled later. Fine. I'm sorry you had to see that. My name's Jeremy. I'm one of the people responsible for taking care of this area. I assume you're the ones who helped repair the tracks. Thank you very much. It means a lot. No need to thank us. We're just trying to help Idea restore the domain. I see. 
Now that you and Ferdinand brought the cart up here, we'll need the Hydroidolans to fix the area below. Them again, huh? Seems the Hydroidolans are really important around this place. Yes, of course. Not only do they keep the junction turning, they operate practically everything else in the domain, too. Seems most of the tracks and junctions have been repaired now. Yep. So maybe it's time you give credit where credit is due, hmm? What? You think you deserve the credit? If anything, we should be thanking these travelers. Uh, you? Well, either way, you're not the one getting any credit. You're always quick to criticize my ideas and push your own, but you never actually get anything done. And what about you? Don't forget it was Hado and I who took care of the mess that one time you impulsively tried one of your brilliant ideas. Uh, speaking of Hado, wasn't he with you? I left early this morning. I assumed he'd be with you. Seriously? Couldn't you have at least looked to see where he was before you left? Hey, come on! You didn't see him either, so what's your excuse? Clee? Oh. Oh. I don't get it. Nobody did anything bad. Why are they arguing? I... Uh, I just don't like his smug attitude, that's all. Who are you calling smug? If anything, you're the one who's making such a big fuss right now. All right, I think we've heard enough from you two. If you insist on bickering, then I'd suggest you go somewhere else. Otherwise, I'll just cool you two off myself. Uh... <sighs> now, come with me. I'd like to have a word with you. Phew. Don't be upset, Klee. There are many complicated situations in this world which don't always have a logical explanation. As the passing traveler here, it's not my place to comment on their disputes. But in my experience, family issues can be the toughest to resolve. Seems you don't like dealing with this kind of thing either, Kokomi. I don't know how to explain my feelings. I'm sorry. We've calmed down. We shouldn't argue in front of a child like that. We're sorry, Klee. It's okay. Back to the topic at hand. Weren't you about to go look for your brother, Hado? Ah, right. Our best guess is he's somewhere around the Torrential Twister. We would have to use the junction to send the cart to another area. Sorry to trouble you again, but would you help us find him? Oh, um, all right. Hey, come on, you two. Your brothers, after all, can't you try to get along?
This is the end of this track segment. Auto should be nearby. Don't tell me that's everything. Ah, I guess you had repaired the tracks and stations as soon as I saw a cart come zipping along. <coughs> now that the tracks, station, and carts are all repaired, we're about ready to reopen Torrential Twister. It will be good to see my design back in action again. <sighs> You're in no condition to be out running around like this, Hato. <laughs> yeah, but these are unusual circumstances. <coughs> That's true, but you should stop to think things through. Exactly. If there's anything that needs to be done, you can just let Ferdinand and I take care of it. <laughs> you and Ferdinand? Together? It would be a miracle for you two to do anything together without fighting. Hey, that's between Jeremy and me. No need to add fuel to the fire, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to make trouble. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, Ferdinand. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're not arguing, Clee. We're just, uh, discussing some things. Are you and Jeremy worried about Hotto? Hmm? Why don't you just talk to him about it? Kaya's also worried about me sometimes, but he doesn't ever criticize me. You're right, but our relationship is much better than these guys. Uh, well, our situation is a little different. Really? How so? We've been through this kind of thing before. If we didn't warn Hado, then he wouldn't take it seriously and something would eventually happen. As his brothers, we have to help him. But it doesn't look like you're helping. Huh? Maybe Klee doesn't understand everything. But my mommy told me that you help someone to make them feel happy, not to make yourself happy. Hado sure doesn't look very happy. Why don't you ask him what he needs? Hmm. Cree's right, you know. You three need to open up and talk things through. You are brothers, after all. <sighs> I, um... <clears throat> I've always cared a lot about you, Hado. Just like when we were back in the desert. You suddenly passed out, and Jeremy and I started arguing. Eventually, all three of us ended up in this domain. I'm just worried that something similar could happen again. If you were to pass out and with nobody around to help you... <sighs> I know. But this domain is nowhere near as dangerous as the desert. I was thinking that if I could handle these problems myself, then you two wouldn't have to argue about anything. 
If it weren't for my poor health and lack of energy all the time, then I wouldn't have always been such a burden on you two. No need to feel guilty, Hato. This was our choice. The three of us love adventuring. No one is a burden on anyone. Isn't that why we came up with the idea for this area? I would do the thinking, Ferdinand would use his muscle, and you would... Draw the blueprints and build tracks. It'll be a safe way to see all kinds of amazing scenery. Yes, that was the plan. <laughs> see? Doesn't it feel better just to get along? Hey, what are you trying to say? You make it sound like I've only been trying to talk myself up. The choo-choo cart is great, Ferdinand. Really? You know, Clee, having the car zip along the tracks was my idea. Yeah, what an amazing idea! You're so smart! Hey, Clee, do you want to ride even more fun carts? Yay! Let's ride more! Looks like all three of them are trying to win Clee's approval now. Clee hasn't realized it yet. But her innocent, childlike nature is very powerful. It can inspire and even help heal others. Hey, everyone. Please come with me. We need to get the Hydro Idolin in the cart to help us. Good. Torrential Twister is ready to run now. Let's go to the station at the start of the track. Open it up. Show me what's inside. She'll treasure this good fortune.
Hado and I have double checked everything. It's all operating safely. You can go for a ride now. Hold on a sec. Before we say goodbye, I have something I'd like to give you all. It's a rock climbing rope. We used it on our adventures to climb mountains and traverse many places. Huh? But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Are you sure you want to give it to us? Yes, of course. Please take it. Thanks to Klee and everyone else's help, we realize that there's a special bond that keeps us together. Even though it's invisible, it's even more important than rope. We can always hold on to it through tough situations. Huh? I helped? <laughs> yes, Klee. You are a big help. Even bigger than that huge thing in the middle of this place? Yes, much bigger. Wow, that's huge! I'm so happy! By the way, have you ever seen anything like the choo-choo cart in the outside world? Nope. Today was the first time I rode anything like it. Is that so? <coughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Seems you won't find Torrential Twister anywhere else. Be sure to come back and ride the choo-choo carts again while you still have the chance. Makes sense. Wait, but if being able to fly makes you a mage, what does that make Kaya since he's here too? Nothing. Kaya's just the master thief. Don't you remember, Paimon? Hmm. Oh, right. Guess it slipped Paimon's mind. <laughs> Sorry to bother our young mage. But there's something a master thief would like to report. Do you still remember our mission? Uh-oh. I was having so much fun that I almost forgot. We're supposed to be helping Adia look for the missing components. But don't worry. I've already got one. You mean you snatched it when we weren't looking? <laughs> I didn't have to go that far. In fact, the component we were searching for was actually that orange rope. If anything, you could say it came right into our hands at the right time. Let's head back and give it to Adia. Aw, oh, do we really have to go? <sighs> okay, be 
Even though I want to keep playing, I know Idea is really important. That's our wise mage. <sighs> Don't worry. Tonight, you'll be able to see stars in the water and watch fish dance in the sky. Uh, seems Kokomi's out of it after that ride. Her face is completely blank and her lip was trembling while she was speaking. <sighs> Maybe we should have a rest for a while. Keeping my composure pretty well. Don't worry, my mind is always spinning. I'm used to this. We should head back to Idea. How about we hold hands, Miss General? Klee will give you energy. Uh huh. After holding Klee's hand, the stars in the sky and the fish in the water have all disappeared. I must have been seeing things from riding the cart. <sighs> hmm? What are you smiling about, Kokomi? Uh huh? Oh. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> nothing. Nothing at all. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Welcome back! Well, any good news? Oh, don't tell me! You've taken care of all the problems and now I don't have to do anything? Yeah! We even rode the choo-choo cart! Do you want to come ride too? <sighs> uh, but maybe you'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'm a little tired now. Hmm. Seems she had a little too much fun and now she's about to crash. I think it's time for a rest. Good idea. I think we could all use some downtime. Thanks for giving me some energy, Klee. Then we'll see you later. Bye, Miss Honorary Knight. Bye, everyone. Well... It sounds like our young mage enjoyed herself. I'm so happy that she had a good time. So, back to the missing component. Did you bring it? You bet! Kaya said that the missing component was this orange climbing rope. 
Ah, it just occurred to me that you probably ran into the three brothers while you were in the canyon. If I remember correctly, the two eldest brothers were taking their sickly younger brother on adventures when they ran into a sandstorm and ended up here. They were all arguing with one another when they first arrived, but it wasn't long before they broke down and were huddled together in tears. Uh, they sure must have a lot of energy to keep up their bickering and adventuring every day. I'm a little worried about them, yet quite envious of all that energy. <laughs> you almost sound as if you're reminiscing about old friends, Idea. Yes. I've known them for quite some time, after all. But I seldom go to that area. You can hold on to the rope for now, Traveler. I have no use for it until we have the other components. By the way, Eula and Kale have also returned, but I'm afraid they weren't able to make much headway. They mentioned that they would like to head to the jungle north of here, once you have all rested up. Now that I've told you everything, I'll go rest. Uh, I mean, I'll go and check on the situation in the remaining two areas. Do you need me to accompany you? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. You've already accomplished a lot today. You should rest up. going so smoothly today. My big sister.
destiny has brought me hither.